Remember how on the last episode of Nier, things got really weird? The game became a text-based adventure for seemingly no reason? We're back. We're back to play the game normally now. I hope. I don't know what's to come, obviously, because I haven't played the game past this point at all. This is live. I think at some point I will do a live recording. So it looks like there's a quest over there. We should do the quest over there. I will do a live recording. I uh, I just don't know how good I'll be at it. I, I mean, much like this, it'll just require practice to get better. But doing the commentary and the gameplay and doing it alone, I don't know. I don't I don't really see the benefit to doing it live. You know. Also, we have to put books in places. I don't know where South is. I could probably figure it out by the where the sun is, but I'm stupid, so I'm just going to try all of the various places. There it is. I don't know if it's actually south. I wasn't paying attention. I, I don't see the benefits of doing it live except for, like, reaction shots. And that's a whole different genre. Like, reaction shots are, like, clickbait almost, aren't they? Like that, you go to YouTube for like a reaction thing, and no, they're just bad, and I don't like them. My reactions are genuinely genuine too, generally genuine. It's a tongue twister, maybe, um, because I record so far in advance, and my memory is so terrible that by the time I'm watching the video, I only have a vague idea of what's going to happen. Plus, then I can I can do things like cutting out loading screens and uh, speeding along boring sections. I like the post commentary thing. I hear it's better for like informative let's plays, which I don't do because I don't care enough. And a lot of the games I'm playing, I am playing blind because I've never played them before, and this is my incentive to play them. This is me being able to play them with you guys in a sense. So I'll probably... Uh, the problem with, with doing the post-commentary is not the, the quality of the commentary. It's not anything for you guys, as far as I'm concerned. It's the time it takes me. Live commentary, you do it in one take, and uh, you're done. Post-commentary, you gotta do it twice. You gotta watch the video back and uh, talk over it. So it doubles the time. And now... Uh, not with this series, but in this second time slot. I'm now doing two videos a day. You got to do that. Do the post commentary twice. It's just, it's going to become a time commitment I don't know if I can spend on what is essentially a hobby. It's It's not a job. This isn't done for money yet, if ever. So, we'll see. I may wind up switching to live just for practical purposes. But I do think that the, the commentary is going to suffer a bit, so I don't know. I don't know. I'll probably try it out. We'll give it a shot. We'll see how it goes. If it, if it doesn't go well, then uh, it doesn't go well. And uh, we'll, we'll cut it out. If it does go well? Cool. I also am thinking of trying to do streams at some point. However, streaming is a different ball game. That is live. Um, you have to pay attention to different things like the chat. Presumably, I don't know, I might not get any viewers. Streaming might not do zero for me. But that's where the cool kids are. Cool kids are streaming. And in theory, I could use that footage for the Let's Plays anyway. So I may be able to kill two birds with one stone there. Especially if I do the uh, post-commentary for it. I, I, I probably wouldn't use the stream commentary because it wouldn't work especially well. But I could certainly try it. We'll see. I've got a whole bunch of possibilities for this whole Let's Playing thing. 
and I don't know where I want to where I want to go yet. So we're going back this way. There's a uh, a boy who is writing our daughter letters who has requested help. So we are going to go help. There's also this guy in the background whom we neglected before mostly because in a separate timeline he murdered us really really quickly in one hit and I was way too low a level should I do it should I go kill that guy I'm thinking yes I'm thinking we can take him especially if we cheese it like we did with the boar like look at that damage that's a pretty good damage output and if he wants to aggro onto Kaine, that's even better. I know I don't want to go up and physically hit him too much because he'll just uh, kind of whack me away. But at this distance, I don't really see the problem. I, I, I can probably dodge. Oh, that's a new attack. Okay, cool. And we're getting more minions. I wasn't really ready for that. I'll admit. But, uh... The minions aren't too terrible. And I can deal with them while I... Okay, how did that miss? I was very well prepared to hit him, I thought. I, I aimed properly. As long as the minions don't keep respawning, we'll be okay. As long as I can keep an eye on his projectiles. Should be fine. This guy with the shield, he ain't nothing. can break that shield there we go he's dead now hopefully this is it oh that was going over me wasn't it I did a lot of damage also no oh, they they are gonna keep respawning cool that's that's what I wanted out of this fight oh we're low on health let's uh let's get some more health I'm going to spend most of my money on healing items on this playthrough, it seems like. I want to buy a new weapon at some point, but this one seems to be doing okay. Like, a damage output doesn't seem to be the problem right now. It seems to be me not blocking properly, not dodging properly. Oh, if only Friendly Fire was on there, that would have, that would have taken out that guy. You know what? That did half my health. I don't think it was worth it. We're going to use two of those. Oh, we're lined up perfectly right now. This should go through and still hit the boss. It did. It did. It hit the boss. Killed the dude. That's the strategy I want. Now I just got to wait. I don't think moving around helps. I know killing dudes helps. But I kind of don't want to do that. I want to just do this sort of thing. The one blade he sends out is really easy to dodge as long as I'm smart about it. Is he gonna, okay, cool. That's that's fine. Now I want to get around. I'm trying to I'm trying to aim it so I'll I'll hit both. I'm not sure it's gonna work. There we go. Maybe hopefully. How did that did that not hit the guy right behind him? Surely, you jest. Oh, he's going to do a thing? Not at me, though. At Kaine. That's fine. We're getting there. We're, we're going to kill this guy this time. I am not going to die. And I'm also not going to... Ooh, he almost led me there. He saw, he saw what I was doing, and he did not like it. Uh, this sh probably won't kill. How did... Did only one of those hit? How did only one of those hit? I don't know. I don't know the mechanics of this game. Cool, that I didn't even have to move there. Ooh. I tried to block it. You saw me. I had my uh, my guard up. I wanted to see if I could block it. For future reference. Of course. So close, I just need to not get greedy. Don't want to do anything that could potentially kill me. And this should be it. That should be enough damage. There's that guy. He is dead. Do we get any reward for killing him? Anything at all? No, nothing. N not a thing. Okay, cool. We did that for no reason, it would appear. 
we could have just run right by him, as we did before. I love it when games just throw bosses at you and do not reward you at all for killing them. Maybe there's a quest in, like, the shorefront or something. It's like, hey, go kill this guy. We're like, okay. And uh, now I can just go complete that. I don't know. I like how the game is throwing these guys at us one at a time now. As if that's gonna... As if that's gonna challenge us. I don't know if you remember the last time we came here. We ki we went up a path and killed a spider dude. Uh, that's where we're going this time. I'm pretty sure. The spider seemed a little high level for us last time. So I figured that's probably not where we wanted to go. And it turns out it wasn't. We wanted to go to the, to the shorefront. But now... Now that we're strong-ish and ready that's where we're going these guys are not really strong but they're a little bit annoying used coloring book are those good for anything can i do i just sell them they are they just fodder for the shopkeeps okay guys you know what i'm done with you Please don't hit me, please don't hit me, please don't hit me, please don't hit me. I don't have iframes there. There's the spider I killed before. We're just going to bypass him. And go in here. And things just got washed out. Desaturated or unsaturated? I'm not sure which. The color got drained from the screen. We're going to a mansion. And we are indeed in a mansion. And we're supposed to follow this guy. And we have... Oh no. We have forced camera angles. Fixed camera angles. I can no longer... I can control the camera minimally. It's Devil May Cry all over again. Oh no. I think this is actually supposed to be like an homage to Resident Evil maybe. But like without zombies. I, I don't know. Just because of the mansion, I guess. Uh, the manor. It's like the... The one from the game. I haven't actually played a Resident Evil game. Uh, apart from 5, I played... Most of, maybe half of... Resident Evil 5 co-op with a friend... On the Xbox 360. And we both hated it, so we stopped. Okay, so we were told to wait in this room. When a video game tells you to wait in a room, typically, uh, you don't do it. I, uh, I wonder if we actually just waited, if the game would eventually progress, but I doubt it. Oh, we got a new dialogue for Kaine, maybe? No, she's just sleeping. So we've already left the room. Uh, might as well leave the room this way too. See what we got. Okay, so this is the entrance way, perhaps. Can't go that way anyway. There are two doors here. Let's try. That's the one we came through. It's a kitchen. There is nothing in here. Okay. I'm glad that room exists in this game. Why would you need a room that does stuff. I don't like this one Vice is a coward. I think we've already established that, though. It's a lot of rooms now. Why don't we head back? But I don't want to. I want to explore. Okay, so you're just going to give me that every time. Uh, what about if we go through this door? Keyhole. Okay, so we need keys to progress through this does this count as a dungeon? It might. Oh, and Kaine is gone. Cool. Haunted Manor? Who said anything about haunted? Have you seen a ghost? You seen any ghosts here? We just seen a butler so far. Okay, so did she leave this way? Is the butler going to be out here? Uh, doesn't look like it. Anything over here? 
Any shinies? There looks like a box I can break. Oh yeah. I knew it was worth coming out here. Can we leave? Of course it's locked. Why would it, why wouldn't it be locked? Why would they let us leave of our own volition? What's over here? Okay, so this is a uh, that's the area we got to before. Got it. Is the game punishing us because we didn't wait? I I assume this is not one of those situations you can just wait out. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Heard, I heard somebody. I heard somebody. Are they in there? No? Okay. Okay, cool. This is atmospheric. Okay, is this open now? No, it's not open now. Okay. What's this? The picture is... Did the picture actually change? I didn't pay attention. I, I genuinely wouldn't have noticed. I, I'm not even sure it did. Vice might just be freaking out. Gilmark Moon, okay. Uh, looks like we have to go through the door that we tried to go through before. And there's a courtyard with a bunch of statues. And we're gonna just ignore those statues. Spirit drop, okay, cool. And a shiny. And we got a moon key, so now we can go through one of those two doors that was previously locked. Cool. See if these say anything. Hanged expression. Hmm. That seems suspicious. Okay, so it's going to give us the same line for each one. Fair enough. Oh, and of course there are enemies. Oh, and they're big shades too. The big, slow, fat ones. They're not really fat. That was, that was rude. That was body shaming of me. I shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have said it. But they're dead, so it's okay. Also, they're shades. And as we all know, shades are evil. Not very good at all. Okay, another key. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. What's down this hallway? Oh, another shade. Oh, a spider. Okay, can I can I hit him, please? Game? I, I can't really see him. Uh, please hit. Oh, yeah. Is he dead, though? He's dead. We get to loot the body for silk? Yeah. I I don't know if we can sell that or what, what it's good for, but at least we have it. Ooh, cutscene. That's a child. You're an adult. Male. Male. Do we think our main character is, like, 40? I, I, I didn't consider his age before, but, like, he's built really well. But his face also looks like he's 95. It's just got a lot of wear and tear. Are we gonna... Okay. You got all that from my he doesn't even... Does he have shoes? Are those just sandals? I assume, I assume they're sandals. Aha, my good sir, but that is because he is a floating book. Like a land I don't know why that scared him. We told him there was another person here. Or, quote-unquote, person. My name is Emil. Emil. He is the master. The young master, of course. The kid who sent a letter to my girl. Letter? And he didn't send the letter. Uh-oh. No, <laughs> the game commentates on this. As its character does. No, stay back. Yeah, we're, we're not going to hurt you. We're not going to hurt you, dude. Sorry. It's my oh, he's worried about us. Not that we're going to hurt him, but he's going to hurt us. That's why I live with this blind thing. What a remarkable skill. So he's got Cyclops vision, but instead of laser beams, it's stone vision. The, the Medusa thing, I guess. Is that Medusa? No, she did stone things, and I can't remember what. Was it you? You looked at her, and you turned to stone, right? Cool, a key. The, key. the butler's quarters are at the far end of the manor. Let me give you a map. It's a big place. And a map, too. That's helpful. <laughs> and we got a key. The star key. Well, we saw a star-shaped hole earlier. That woman is capable enough on her own. And now we have a map. And now we can figure out where we're going. 
think this was the star door. He did say his key would open any door. That turns out to be untrue. We're still hearing voices. That's not generally a good thing. That's not the butler. That's just a, a statue? Question mark? Yeah, well, we can't interact with it, so cool. Going through all the doors. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's anything in this room. Shades? Oh no, this is a very, very small room. I don't want to fight the shades in this room. This is going to go very poorly. Can't even aim very well. Okay, well. Hopefully that'll kill most of them. Sounds good. Uh, was there anything I wanted in here, though? It does not appear so. So this room is also pointless. That should work. How does that not work? That spider was not moving at all. I should be able to... I stabbed right through its body. I know it's a game mechanic thing, but come on, game. Let me, let me, let me stab murder the spider. Let me do it. The stab murder is a good attack. Oh, and that... Okay, that is blood. That's creepy. But also doesn't seem like it serves a whole lot, lot of purpose. Okay, let me, let me select the thing game. That's not the room I wanted. There we go. Okay, uh, doesn't seem like there's anything in this room either. Cool. Keyhole marked light. Well, but I have the key that opens everything. I have the master's key. Did I miss something? Did I, is, is there something I gotta get? I don't remember missing anything. I don't think the... The master's key opened anything up for us back here. Did the, did the painting change again? I don't know. Someone do a side-by-side. -side. I, I, I can't be bothered. Did, did we get anything in here? Did anything open up? No? Okay. Uh, how about in here? Uh, no? No, okay. Okay, well, the, the, uh, you know, to save your guys' uh, time and effort, uh, I'm going to cut here and uh, figure it out.